In mobility, we're really lucky to have the full value chain here in country. From Industry 4.0 perspective, we're moving away from just the looking at the factory floor into considering the whole value chain now. And what that really allows us to do, using 3D printing, etc., allows us to bring that process to our customers and bring them into our design processes very early on. It allows us to uh, do rapid prototyping, get them involved, print out uh, what something would look like, bring them involved to the conversation and see how they uh, like it. And what that does is it engages with them, gets us to market quicker, and that's a strategic advantage. Here in Port Melbourne we use 3D printing. Primarily we introduced it to assist us in prototyping for new components and new products. But when we started looking into it, we realised that we could use it part of as a manufacturing process. So firstly we started off producing 3D components, which are basically lightweight plastic components. And then we found by going through a specialised foundry that we've identified, we can actually go through a series of manufacturing steps, taking the 3D model and put them into a, plastic, a wax form, going through a, the ceramic slurry stage, we burn the model out and finally we end up with a cavity we can actually cast directly into. So therefore we've gone from a 3D CAD model to a 3D component to the final metallic component without having to go to the normal process of additive manufacturing. This has enabled us to reduce our time from the model stage through to the final component stage to about a week to two weeks where this would normally take us probably between anywhere between 12 and 16 weeks.